The National Football League regular season is near, and there's more gambling available to consumers during the 2018 season. Only Nevada had a full-time sports book last year, while Delaware had parlay betting on NFL games. Delaware has a fully operational sports book, along with New Jersey, West Virginia, and Mississippi. The National Football League fought Delaware and New Jersey in court for years to keep those states from operating a sports book and have gambling on NFL games, but that changed in the spring when the Supreme Court of the United States decided to legalize sports gambling across the country in a case involving New Jersey. Something else changed. The National Football League was suddenly fine with sports gambling, and if it suits the owners, sports gambling is good. The NFL may have figured out a way to make some money off of gambling. The NFL has lifted the ban on casino sponsorships and will allow individual franchises to become marketing partners with casinos, including those that have a sports book. But the NFL will still not allow the individual teams to become marketing partners with a sports book. The casinos will be able to use the NFL Shield logo and the logo of the NFL partner as part of a licensing agreement. It's all good. Gambling money will come into the league through sponsorship. Meanwhile, United States Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer of New York wants to bring sports gambling legislation to the floor of the Senate in a bid to help out sports leagues. Senator Schumer would like to see the leagues more involved in the industry, including having a say on what bets should be allowed, and that leagues should be involved in policing the state sports betting operations, something states have rejected. The NFL returns, and so does gambling, legal and illegal. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.